when any game team starts building a big project like this, you want to have your own space. You know, you don't want to be, well, this is this version of something else, or well, this is like that other thing that came out a few years ago. You want to be, no, no, people are going to find this game hard to compare in a number of different ways, and, and we want that. I think the time, place, and the character can't be understated. The fact that you're playing in our version of New Orleans in 1968, you're a mixed race protagonist who's just back from Vietnam, I feel provides an incredibly unique experience. Given that he's mixed race and it's the late 60s in the Deep South, obviously we're going to explore some of those issues in the game as well. So I think that that's really going to make us stand out. We're trying to capture that in everything that we do, whether that's your interactions with the police system or the experience you have walking down a street. Everything that, that you see and hear and experience should remind you that you are this character at this time in American history in this city. He's a member of the Black Mob and the Italian Mob, and the Black Mob have kind of allied together. And ultimately, Lincoln is, uh, and the Black Mob are betrayed by the Italian Mob. So Lincoln's really put on this kind of revenge path, but in the process, he dedicates himself to not just tearing down the Italian Mob, but also rebuilding a new mob in its place. And depending on how the player plays the game, that could be a, a new version or a new incarnation of the Italian Mob. It can also look very different. The way in which you can tackle the objectives in the game is incredibly open. It really is a feeling of kind of slowly chipping away at and taking over kind of one hideout, one district at a time. You're really going to be focused on taking over the city and taking down Sal Marcano, who's the big Italian mob boss. And you'll be doing that by damaging his various rackets, we call them in the game. A lot of it comes back to this idea of, you know, in the mob, it's all about kicking up. If you make it hard for the guy running a construction company to kick up to his boss, well, it's hard for him to kick up to his boss and then all the way up the chain and then it all rolls downhill. And eventually they panic and they make a mistake. So a lot of it is that, is going into the world and how do I mess up this racket or disrupt this racket enough that they're gonna make a mistake and they're gonna give me an opening to take somebody down and then take over the racket for my own. It's very liberating in a lot of ways and gives the player a lot of choice while still having a, a strong central through line so you never feel lost. And then on top of that, the way in which you're assigning all of the territory out that you're taking to these, these key lieutenants that you've got, these three lieutenants, is going to change the narrative as well. The way that they start reacting to you will change. And it's very, very organic. So rather than it just being about branching narrative, it's about this sort of uneasy alliance and the balance of power kind of shifting around depending on what you as the player choose to do. You'll discover like, Oh, you know, hey, I never really invested much in Burke, you know, one of my lieutenants, Burke, in, in the last playthrough. I want to go out back and see what does Burke have to offer and how does the game change if I, if I really devote more time to Burke versus, you know, Vito or Cassandra. Definitely in terms of the three lieutenants, their reactions to you and, and how that all plays out. It's, very, it's going to be very different. Matter of life and death. I'm not saying. <laughs> my ideal scenario is they come out of it and they're like, man, I can't wait to tell my buddy about playing that, and I can't wait to talk to my buddy who's been playing it and find out what his experience was like and compare notes. You know, I hope people are uploading videos of awesome stuff they do in the game. We give you a lot of tools in the game, and the creativity of the players far exceeds our ability to, you know, predict what they're going to do, right? And maybe that's game-breaking, and maybe they do stuff that, like, but whatever, more power to them, that's awesome. I think this is going to be a really unique game, and it's very easy for us to sit there and say that, and we've really just had our initial showing, but as we show more, I really think people are going to see like everything from the setting, the character, the quality of the narrative and the acting is phenomenal and something that I'm also really excited about. And then expanding that to kind of the game structure. There is a lot of uniqueness there um, and we are hopefully going to be able to showcase most of it before we actually release the game.